Hello and welcome to this Vidirum tutorial. Today's tutorial is about setting up data dashboards. And here we have an example of a dashboard. Um, so they all follow the same format. We have a map here, um, which is pulling the data from CCAN. Here we're showing Vidirum office locations. Um, and we also have Leeds bars and pubs, some data from 2013. And then the core part of any dashboard is the visualized data sets. And you can learn about all of these visualizations um, in another one of our tutorials, uh, data visualizations in CCAN. And then also you've got a list of the newly released data sets. So as a customer, you are able to activate the extension in the extension store ccan.vidirum.com forward slash extensions dashboard, here we go. Now it's worth saying here that um, the extension allows you to have one dashboard for every organization you've got defined in CCAN, so you can have multiple dashboards per CCAN instance. I'm now going to talk you through how we go about creating a dashboard. So we'll start as ever at the at your CCAN instance homepage. We'll select an organization. We're working with the Vidirum organization today as an example. From here, the organization page, we'll click on manage. And you are probably fairly familiar with this, but if the dashboard extension is included, you'll have a special section appear for dashboard settings. And the very first thing we need to do is to tell CCAM whether we want the dashboard active or not. So. Yes, we do. Um, there is an option to have your dashboard switch between languages as a bilingual setting, um, so that we would do that here. For this example, we're going to say no. We also have an option of um, choosing a secondary dashboard here and the number of data sets that it displays on the home page. Of course you'll be able to access all of your data in the normal way. And some options for including some information about your dashboard at the header, at the footer, or a description. And finally some copyright information. There are some various options which um, are going to define how the dashboard looks. Um, to change the color it's simple or click and then we either add the color code or we can select from the picker as we like. And my recommendation is to to play around with these until you've got something you'll like. It's very easy to to jump between your final dashboard and here to play around and edit with those colors until you found something you're happy with. We can also add a survey if we want. But again, for this tutorial, we're going to stick to no. Now for the fun part, where we're going to decide what data it is we're going to be showing. So for the map options, if you remember from before, uh, we chose Vidirum office locations um, by the country. And we also had the example of Leeds bars and pubs. But if we've got 
other data there, we can choose something else. So why not choose solid minerals companies? Mix it up a bit. And then it's a case of choosing the charts that we want to display. Um, and as you can see, we can choose up to up to six here. And just a reminder, if you want to learn about how to go and create these visualizations, um, just check out our data visualizations in CCAN tutorial. So for this one, we're going to add a new one. We've got chart four. And let's choose average temperature and total rainfall in England and Wales. Why not? And there we go. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. So once you've added all the data you want included, it's a simple case of clicking Update Organization. And then from here, we'll click View Dashboard. And look at that, as easy as, as, easy as that, you've created a dashboard with your custom settings. That was setting up data dashboards. I hope this has been helpful. You can find more CCAN tutorials at vidiram.com forward slash help.